So we're going to get some uh, kit. Kit room. Yeah. So these are the helmets. So I need to get a small helmet for myself, but I'll get that later. I'll just go get the boots. So here we're going to today, as you can see, a lot of people <laughs> right, who's over there? Um, we've got a lot of people here today. Uh, some big slopes over here. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name's Alex. I'm a an apprentice, just recently started, and I'm helping out on my first first tracks. Uh, how did you like start off with the uh, course? Okay, so for when I started off, I was actually a first track, just like everybody else here. I worked really, really hard, and I worked my way up to graduate, and that was about a six-week course where I progressed built up my skills enough for me to get chosen for the Excel course. And after that, I kind of thought to myself, I wanted to take this on because it was an absolutely amazing opportunity to have. And I stuck with it and had an apprenticeship. That's awesome. How did you get into uh, winter sport, snowboarding slash skiing? So I was actually really lucky and when I was quite young, I went on a family holiday and had my first go at skiing. Um, and then I basically just wanted to be like my big brother and he went snowboarding so I decided to try snowboarding instead. Um, yeah, and just kept practicing. And how did you find the snow camp? How did you come apart the snow camp? Oh, how did I come apart the snow camp? Yeah, so I actually was working in a different job um, and I was just browsing social media one evening and I saw on snow camp's Instagram that they were recruiting 
um, and it was all different kind of things that I'm into. And I actually that day handed in my notice at my current job and applied for the job with Snowcamp. Oh, awesome. The last two days, obviously, we've had uh, less sit in the community, participants uh, came. How, how did you find them and how did you think the last two days have been? Uh, quite low the past few days, to be honest. A bit of a rowdy bunch, to be honest, but uh, they're quite young, so I'd probably see it's better. Uh, they're very, very fast learners, it's a lot faster than I was and a lot faster than the other groups that I've uh, been te well, teaching recently. Uh, I think they've got good capabilities and high places to go if they ever want to carry on. Yeah, it's been so great having Leicester City in the community with us. Um, the young people that they've brought are absolutely great. Um, they're really smiley and enthusiastic. And they've come on so well with their skiing and snowboarding. Um, it's great to see them engaging with life skills and mental wellbeing sessions as well. They've been having an absolute blast. Are there any highlights from the uh, last two days you want to mention? Um, yeah, one girl in particular, she was quite shy and nervous on the first morning. Um, just stopped for lunchtime on day two and she's grinning from ear to ear and she's just having an absolutely great time. Besides, besides people falling over and uh, seeing one, I think it was, I think it was Ty, I think I saw him do a 180, uh, 180 mm -hmm. turn before falling over, which is absolutely hilarious. But um, yeah, that's my highlight. Any quotes? Um, yeah, I think just keep going for it, guys. Like, it might be daunting at first, you might get a bruised bum, but like, just really go for it and see what you can push yourself to achieve. My biggest quote? My biggest quote would be to stick at it and don't let go. Don't let fear or embarrassment overtake whatever you're feeling because at the end of the day, yeah, everybody else is going to be falling over and everybody else is going to be in a wreck. Just uh, keep sticking at it. And uh, if anybody wants to join this session in the future, what advice would you give them? Um, learn the basics, stick at it and watch a lot of YouTube videos because it really helped me. <laughs> yeah, definitely have a chat with Dan and get yourself signed up. It's really great to get loads of you skiing and snowboarding and coming back for future programmes and maybe joining the apprenticeship scheme or coming on residential with us. Just great to be working with you guys and it's an absolute delight to have you. Thanks! Peace out. Have fun, people. What about you, Dad? It's the best project in the world, mate. Right? Ever. Best project in the world. Amazing! 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 Amazing young people! Hey guys, what's your names? Tom. Tom. Josh. Josh. Harrison. Harrison. How are you finding snow camp? Uh, good. Uh, sick. Oh, I'd love to come again. Love to come again. Yeah. Any any key moments that you really enjoyed? Uh, falling over. Falling over. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, it's been brilliant. I'd come again. Come again. Yeah. Any key moments? Falling over as well. <laughs> falling over. And what about you, Harrison? I've, I've had a really good time, and I'd definitely come again. What would you say, so let's say you have other people your age that want to come on this course, what would you say to them? Uh, just keep going and just try stuff new and then you'll get somewhere in life. Awesome. Yeah, just do it. It's fun. I'll just tell them to keep going and, it's, and, if, and if, even if you fall over, just get back up because you want to make the most of it. Yeah. So it's a great opportunity. Yeah. And um, is there anything else you want to say to the camera guys? No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.